can't read the stupid thing without crying every time. The friend of mine that first saw this house and told Melinda and I about it had this cool idea for my birthday one year. He gave me one of my favorite gifts anyone's ever given me. It's my own personal tombstone. It says Jernigan, November 7th, 1981. On this date, Dennis Jernigan died to sin and was born again by the grace and power of our Lord Jesus Christ. God's servant lives in the house at the top of the hill. One of my favorite things is when people drive by, you can see them slow down because the road's just a few feet away. Always looking to see who's buried there, who's buried there, and I can't help but think they're going to see that, man, the old Dennis was buried there and maybe get an idea that maybe that could happen for them too. Uh, it's just one of the things I pray when I see people slow down and look at this thing. So I wanted it to be by the road for that very reason because I knew people would wonder who is buried there. Well, it's me, the old me.